welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this super easy but super cute interlocking heart Valentine wreath. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, I have one of these heart-shaped wreath frames from Dollar Tree. I also have some of this really bulky yarn. Now this yarn came from Walmart, but you can get it at pretty much any craft store. A lot of the major yarn brands out there have their own version of this. It's just very super bulky. If you can't find the super bulky kind, it's okay. You can use a thinner kind. It will not affect anything, but we're basically just going to wrap this wreath frame with this yarn. Now, here on the frame, you can see how it goes up and over. It's kind of curved, and that usually faces front. But for this, I want that to be towards the back. So in essence, the back of the wreath frame is what's going to be showing you know, when you look at it. And yeah, I'm wearing two shirts. It's cold in here. <laughs> Let me pull my sleeves up because I know that'll be aggravating to see. But we're just going to take this yarn and like I said, we're going to wrap it around the frame, this being the front. So I think I'm going to start here at the point because the point can be one of the most aggravating <laughs> parts of this thing to wrap. I'm probably going to drip glue on my table here. You know what? It's all right. It's all right. Yep, there we go, drip. So once this sets up, that's gonna kinda help to keep this in place and then it's easier to wrap, you know, going up and then around towards the center. So let's wait for this glue to set up here and then we'll move on. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue here and then glue it back up this way. That's really gonna help to hold this in place and also to stop it from unraveling. So now, easy, easy, easy. We're just taking our yarn and just wrapping it around our frame like so. Some of this is gonna slip and slide and it's okay. Just hold it in place with one hand. This yarn actually was in <laughs> a bag that had some moss in it. And I've got little moss speckles and bits all over it, but it's okay. I'm just going to use it and then at the end, I'm gonna pick off all the little, the little fuzzy bits. So I'm just gonna wrap my whole entire frame here. So I'm almost halfway done right here. Actually, I'm halfway done <laughs> wrapping this. I got to this point here. Now this can be a little bit difficult when you're wrapping. So what I do is I just take my glue gun. You see, I'm just putting like the tiniest little bit of glue right there and right there. And I'll wrap this and then I'll hold that in place until that glue sets up, okay? And I do that kind of sort of like all the way around the wreath. Uh oh, so there's a little piece of red. <laughs> like I said, this yarn was in my stash. I just pulled it out and I'm like, you know what? I need to do something with it and get it out of here. A little glue there, a little glue there. And it just helps to hold it in place. Let's scooch this up. Ah, get up there. And then glue that down. Lordy. My glue was not set up. I let it go too soon. But anyway, you get the basic idea. Just hold that in place there. Then just spot glue it all the way around. Okay, yeah, I know my lighting is off in this video. It's I'm having to move stuff around in my craft room to make room for some things, and I'm not in the usual position, and I, I don't like it. I don't like it, so I'm sorry for the shadows, and it's just it's annoying me. But anyway, now that the frame is wrapped, I took a piece of paper, and I just cut out a heart. Now, I'm going to show you kind of how I decided what size to make the heart. You see how it's just sticking out? to the side of the frame just a little bit. It doesn't need to be a gigantic heart, but I, I think that this right here, I think that this is a good size. Yeah, we're gonna take that. All right, so now we're gonna take this heart and we're going to trace this and then cut it out of a piece of cardboard, okay? So a piece of cardboard and I can get actually two hearts out of this. We're just gonna trace it and then we're gonna cut it out. Okay. Now we have our cardboard heart. Now take your pen, pencil, whatever. And now we're going to trace inside of that heart. Because basically what we're going for here is we're going to cut out this center, okay? We're gonna cut out the center. So just take your time so that it can be 
kind of the same width all the way around. Actually, you know what might be smart for me to do? Let's measure. Because I know I'll screw it up. Okay, so I'm going to measure here. Then we can see about how wide we need this to be all the way around. Yes, we can do this. And I'm just going to make like little, uh, little marks here. I can kind of keep myself in line. If not, <laughs> I'm going to mess this up so bad. <laughs> it's like it looks good in my head, you know. But if I'm not careful, I'm, I'm really going to screw it up. So let me just make my marks all the way around like so. And then it's a lot easier to just connect them like that. And then you don't have to worry about it being, you know, the correct width. About it being even all the way around. And then, once you draw that all the way around, then take your scissors and cut it out. All right, here we go. That doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I know I screwed up a couple places. It'll be all right. But now I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut through the bottom here. And it's okay. We need this bottom part to be cut anyway. So I'm just going to cut up through the bottom. And then we're going to cut around. If you have an X-Acto knife, you can use that. Box cutter, you know, might would be a little bit easier to cut around these little curves here if you want. I'm just going to go really, really slow with my scissors so I don't screw it up too badly. Okay, and just cut out this other half. Okay, so this is what we have. And now I have cut out another heart. And then you can just use the center of the other one as the template for the center of this one. So now I'm just going to draw around here and cut this one out. All right, so now I have two of these hearts cut out. I'm gonna set this one off to the side here. And we're gonna work on this one. Now I have just plain old Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Plain old yarn for weight. Let's get this going. And I, stop. And I'm gonna start with purple just because it's my favorite. Okay, so let's get this, and I'm going to glue right here, and let us stick, well, I said I was, stick the edge, oh, you see it, it's stuck on a glue string, but anyway, I'm just going to hold the end of the yarn here until this glue sets up, and then we're just going to wrap the whole entire heart with this yarn. So I'm just going to wrap it a couple times. So with that glue, let's make sure that the glue sticks. There we go. All right. It's a good amount of glue on there. Let me just wipe the excess off. I wish I had a little bit thicker cardboard. That would work better for what I'm doing here. You just work with what you got, right? Now we're just going to wrap the whole entire thing. You can use a hot glue, you know, just to kind of spot stick it down wherever you need to. Especially up here, you know, when you're trying to wrap the point, that can get a little bit tricky. So just use your hot glue to stick it down and hold it in place and wrap the whole thing. Okay, so I have two of these hearts made now, and I'm going to make two more, I think. Um, maybe three more, I don't know. i got to see what colors of yarn I have. I know I have some green and some yellow. I might have some blue over here, I don't know. But I have two, and you see why we left the bottoms open? You know, pull like so, and whoop! And that gives you the interlocking heart, okay? Now, don't worry about the bottoms. I'm going to show you what to do with those here in a little bit. But this is how we hook them together. And this is how we're going to place them on the wreath. Once I get them all together, then we're going to arrange them, you know, whichever way I want them, okay? But anyway, I'm going to make some more and come back. All right. So I did three hearts. I did pink, purple, and this pretty mint green color. Now I don't have any Valentine's ribbon, but you know what? I have this. This is Easter ribbon that I had gotten at Walmart. And look, the same colors are in this ribbon. So I think that's gonna work out pretty well. We'll just use that. Now I used that ribbon to make my easy no tie bow. Now you've seen me make this bow in a bunch of different videos. So I'm not going to go through it again for time's sake. But if you look down in the description box, and I'll also have a pinned comment, I'll have a link to this video in particular where I slow it down and walk you through how to make this bow without having to tie anything, okay? 
Now what we're gonna do is I wanna go ahead and put this bow here on the bottom because then that's gonna kinda help me to decide where to place the hearts, okay? I wanna get it just like so, so that you can see the, the point of the heart down here, okay? So I'm just gonna glue it on. If you want to wire it on, then do so. As for me and my house, we shall use Surebinder. So I'm just gonna stick that down. Just gonna hold that up and see. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah, I'm like, man, I don't have any Valentine's Day ribbon, but this this will look okay. And I'm squishing it, but when I'm done, I'll go back and I'll fluff it out a little bit. Now you stay there. So now let's decide what color of our hearts we want where. I think I can do the green here. Just get them placed however you want them. Let's see, or should I do the green in the middle? I think I'll do the green in the middle. And then let's just get them, um, see I want this one to turn this way, and then this one this way, and then the purple one down here. Yeah, and then turn that one this way. And I think that will be fine. So now what we're going to do is, let's get this out of the way. I'm just gonna take some hot glue and we're just going to glue the little tippy tails of our hearts closed, okay? Let's get that out of there. Why are you here? I don't know. Just glue the very tippy ends of the hearts down, like so. And I'm gonna do that with the green and the pink. So now that I have the ends glued, then you just get everything into position right where you want it, and then you just tack your hearts down with some glue as well. So I think that looks okay. Yeah, I think that's good. And then like I said, I'm just gonna take the hot glue and we're just gonna tack it down wherever, just to hold it onto the wreath. Now go here and put some glue here and here, and then come down, put some here, you know, just wherever it needs to touch. So I'm gonna work on that. All right, I wanna call this done. I like it, it is simple. And sometimes I just like simple things, just the, the three little hearts and then your bow here. And um, I think that's all it needs, really. So you've already seen it at the beginning of the video, but I will put a photo of it again at the end of the video. And that will be that. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.